morning, so we're taking a walk outside this morning, and it's so funny because the lighting in my camera is way brighter than it actually is up here. Although when I'm in a club and I'm trying to film something, it never works out this way. <laughs> uh, it's a very overcast day. It is a Monday. Decided I would come out and take a little stroll because it feels so much nicer when you start your day off with something refreshing and new. Uh, looks like it rained as well last night. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, it kind of smells like it too. <laughs> um, I'm a little concerned because usually these sprinklers come on at some point, so I'm kind of trying to get back to my area so I don't get sprinkled because I don't know where that water's been. I don't trust it. So... Anyhow, the weekend was good. Everything's good. Yesterday I did a I did my exchanges and it was all 25. Which was weird because I actually didn't eat until about 2 or 3. I had a burrito. And uh Yeah, I had a carne asada burrito and it was delicious. I see somebody coming, so I'm going to put you on pause. All right, I'm back. I don't want to film her. If, you know, I don't know her. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> so, anyhow, I did drain yesterday. Everything was like 25. And so, again, that's like putting 2,000 in and getting out an extra five out. So, maybe I just kind of built up something. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird how that happens because other days... It'll be less. So it's just a fickle thing. Um, I ran into my friend I talked about a while back who went to the hospital because he wasn't feeling well and all that. Apparently he's doing better. Uh, he stopped drinking. That's a good thing. That helps on the phosphates because over in consuming that when you have kidney issues is a big thing. So I'm hoping that he's going to start eating better, but I can't control it. It's everybody has to be on their own journey, and sometimes that means going the hard road. But I just want to encourage you guys to continually drink your water, eat your potassium if you have healthy kidneys. Um, if you're on dialysis, eat your potassium. You don't want your heart giving out on you before you've lived life fully because we are not stopping living life because we're on dialysis. It's just a different path. Um, I was talking to a gal last night whose sister is starting dialysis. Um, I believe her sister's in Phoenix. But I gave her my card and said that, you know, she could always contact me and reach out. Um, is that Donnie? <laughs> is he home from work early? Uh, should it be? <laughs> it should be at work. Um, but she's not alone, and that was the biggest thing because her sister had a whole bunch of questions. And I was like, it is so manageable. Like, you can totally live your life. And she was surprised that I was even outside my house doing things. And I'm like, heck yeah. I don't want to be stuck inside um, more than I have to be anyways um, but there are days where I'm super tired and I don't want to go out so it's all in balance so it was really cool to talk to her though and really give her some comfort that just because the disease is there doesn't mean instant death um, you can still have a pretty great life I mean I'm blessed with the life that I have and um, I always thought this apartment building was really pretty. It's where the elderly folks go at whatever point in their lives. I believe they have a beautiful inside courtyard, but I've never been in there. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to be able to share with her that life is still okay. Just because you have the disease, it's not... Um, the end all, although I think because people see 
that I am energetic and happy and the moments of time when they do see me, sometimes I feel like they have an expectation of my ability to get things done. <laughs> and that's so not that's so not their call to make. <laughs> I have to rest and I have to be the one to steer my own boat. They can't do that and when they're trying to get me to do a bunch of other things it's like no no I'm not going to take on too much I'm just taking on what I can in the art form that I find that I want to do um, which is mostly why I don't get hired out to do videos my YouTube videos need to I need to take it up a notch um, because mostly YouTube is more like my story of my journey um, a lot of explanations and examples and I want to say educational but but not certified educational um, however I definitely um, probably should kick it up a notch because <laughs> I am very creative um, it's just that this is my platform for venting sometimes, um, for being able to just talk about more so the feelings and the mentality of kidney disease than it is flash and flare. But uh, that's my art. And that's really important if you are in the video or music, or art, crafts, jewelry, you know, if it's something that you're doing, is you decide that it is yours, and you don't have to justify what you believe is beautiful, and you don't have to defend it, and you don't have to, uh, what is it, um, conform to what somebody else might think is beauty because if we were all the same and we did all the things the same then it would definitely be boring and I'm not about that I want to live my life being an explosion of uniqueness which can often be referred to as crazy and weird but you know what it's my art it's who I am and I'm proud of it because I'm still alive I'm still kicking I'm still walking in the mornings. <clears throat> and today, looking at the weather, I think I'm going to do laundry. Because it seems like it'd probably be a good laundry day. But, per usual, I did not go and get quarters. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do that. Uh, trip into fries. It's also Monday, which means I should have breakfast with Linda. Hopefully that works out. Um, <clears throat> usually we make our plan ahead of time, but... Over the couple of months, it seems like we've just known, like, it's Monday, it's breakfast, let's do it. So we don't really have to babysit each other on what's going on. So, all right, I'll let you go. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hey, so we just had breakfast with Glenda. Um, rushing home because I got to do my exchange. Um, I had the best spinach and mushroom Swiss cheese omelet. It was really good. Um, I don't usually do spinach, you guys know this, but it's been, what, a good month or so maybe? Figured I'd have some. I always ask the chef though, <laughs> whenever I get anything spinachy, to make sure that they're like chopping up the spinach because there's nothing worse than it getting all stringy and stuff. I don't know. Some places get like the bunch spinach where it's like, I don't know like the tail end of the spinaches. <laughs> I don't like that at all. So I feel like it gets stuck in my teeth. So, um, but it was really good. Breakfast Stop is certainly a great place to go and it's le locally owned. So there's also that factor as well. So, other than that, really not much has happened since I last talked to you. Um, the weather is pretty great. It's overcast, but not too chilly. And uh, I might be able to get some laundry done, but I am pretty sleepy. Um, so I'm debating whether or not I take the morning and just chill 
or if I'm going to um, go out and run my errands because I definitely need to get Charlie some food. I'm thinking about making steaks for dinner and possibly like a um, potato, uh, what's it called, scallion, scalloped, scalloped potato kind of dish. Um, which is weird to think that I'm thinking about food so close to the time that I just ate. <laughs> but um, yeah, I always want to plan ahead. I also found out that I won't have Ben until next week. So although I'll miss him deeply, and I do, and I feel sad when he's not around, um, I don't have to go and get the grocery shopping done the way I usually do when I have him. So that's a little bit easier of a situation. Uh, but that just means I don't have my bin. And that's sad because I miss him. But it is what it is at this point. Um, so yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Um, I definitely should do laundry as well, but I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> Plus I have to get quarters and I'll all of that stuff, so I don't know. Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye. Well, Charlie is up and licking his lips because he's gotten his crickets. Over there, behind you. Turn around. Oh, oh, oh. That one got away. There you go. Get it. Oop. Whoa. <laughs> Those ones are fasty today. Yep, there he goes. Mm -mm -mm. So as you can tell, he's doing really well. It looks good. <laughs>